welcome to Spring Studios in Vienna, Austria. I have a couple of guys here who worked on the game Quarantine and they've been nice enough to spare some time to answer a few questions about the game. Hi, I'm uh, Radu, I'm a game designer on Quarantine. Greetings, my name is Markus and I am designer as well, but uh, focused on interaction and UI. And my name is Simon, I'm uh, the artist on the project at the moment. So, in your own words, how would you describe Quarantine? Yeah, so Quarantine is a single-player strategy game where you uh, fight a contagious uh, disease. Uh, you use your team of uh, operatives, you send them around the world and you have them do missions uh, in order to contain and then to get samples and finally uh, you're able to research a cure in order to finally defeat the disease. <laughs> so, so the game is pretty realistic, authentic in that way then? When a situation occurs and yet you get the description of what's going on actually on the ground and like how, how many people have been infected, like people are dying, what's going on, like there's chaos, riots in the streets and so on and that actually connects you to the feeling that we were trying to evoke uh, initially. So it is, our game is in part, yes, is abstract and in another part is trying to be as, as authentic as, as possible. We've kind of got that feeling um... Say in movies such as Outbreak and TV programs like 24, we've got that kind of yeah. situation room feel where you see the map and you see what's happening around the world. Um, so it's more about you controlling the situation rather than being on the ground. And, so for the concept so, art, you looked at these kind of games, uh, videos, movies, TV series? Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the best way to start a game is look at all the references you can so and pick the best bits that, that suit the movie. What other kind of research did you do to get the game to be a bit authentic, realistic? Uh, in the beginning, in the, in, at the start of the project, we had a microbiologist and bacteriologist come in to the office and they acted as consultants for us and uh, they told us uh, basically that some of the stuff that we had planned for the game was not, let's just put it that way, it was not very uh, believable. And that we had to rethink some of it, so we did our research in the in the beginning. Originally, the game was had more of a, uh, I suppose, more of a realistic look. So uh, we were showing things like dead bodies, and we were a lot closer to the operatives in the actual room that they're working in. And uh, we moved away from that approach for a couple of reasons. One was that the you know, the dead bodies and so on feels almost too personal. So even though we're dealing with death and destruction, it's people want to play it from a bit more of a, a distance. And also, we found that. The actual game itself is focused a bit about you controlling the disease on the map, so the, the, the view moved away from the, the people in the room or to the actual the map screen and what's, what's happening there, what's the more global view. And how do you make the game dramatic enough then with the UI elements? You know, you have that uh, map view and the most drama is actually coming from the behaviour of the disease and the way you see it you know, spread across the map and the way it uh, moves and spreads from city to city, the way you see it infect other cities and the way you actually see the world changing across um, turns as you go forward. And the other level of, of um, you know, dramatising that and, and giving it um, a stronger impact I think comes mostly from the operatives. You see your sending them around on the map, you're sending them on missions, you see the effect of that there, you see where they are placed on your map and this is actually where I think most of the um, most of the effect is coming from. Okay, now the question is, after working on a game about deadly diseases, have you all become hypochondriacs or just scared about traveling to other countries or <laughs> outbreak situations? Do you have like nightmares about this? I was already a hypochondriac before, so that doesn't really apply, but I, I used to think that the, the race has already been uh, won against contagious disease, right, because we've invented all this modern medicine, but that's a race that, 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 that we can never win. All we can do is just stay ahead by, you know, being careful and raising awareness and just um, coming up always with new, new medicine. Since forever we've thought that we'd, we, we thought we'd eradicated diseases like the mumps and, and like that and now you, you see like surges like the, the mumps coming back up and why? Well it's because like parents are not vaccinating their children. I, think it's, I mean we're making games but at the same time if we can do something about it like just like, raise awareness a little bit uh, about the kind of stuff happening I think it's a powerful thing.
So playing quarantine is like preparation for the outbreak, or...? <laughs> <laughs> playing quarantine you should at least get, through some of the situations actually, you do get uh, some of that awareness that uh, you're not safe. <laughs> you're not really safe. <laughs> you're never just, really safe. Just, just imagine somebody actually sitting in a control room making decisions like you were doing when you played that game. This, is, uh, this will not give you a safe feeling. <laughs> <laughs> 